Hello friends, welcome to Industrial Instrumentation Triple E Tutorials. This is our part 3 where we will talk about some pressure measurement related question and answer which are generally asked in any interview if you are going for job. So these are 5 questions generally asked in any interview. What is the pressure measurement, types of the pressure and unit pressure measurement and also their conversion and types of pressure sensor are also ask and signal flow loop from field to plc panel we will see how our signal is transferred from field to plc panel so these five question we will cover in this part three of industrial instrumentation question and answer video so our first what is the pressure measurement this is our first questions so pressure measurement is the measurement of an applied force via fluid liquid or gas on a surface so this is your surface and it's if uh, line and width are given then its area can be also calculated so what force is applied on this uh, box then we can define the pressure is 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 equal to applied force this is applied force upon area so same we can also drive a unit for this pressure measurement newton per meter square which is generally equal to pascal this is very important because sometime when you are applying for any jobs uh, if a written exam is conducted then also this type of unit conversion is very important and also sometime in an interview also the direct unit conversion can be also asked so this is the first thing now the pressure application which is also very important when you are working in any oil and gas sector then you uh, always uh, know there is some vessel where fluid is stored so uh, we always need to know the what is the inside pressure inside pressure of this vessel so some pressure gauge or some pressure transmitter is installed for measuring the pressure of this vessel or some fluid is going through one pipe one pump or uh, some compressors so when you have designed that your pump is maintaining 10 kg pressure means a discharge pressure would be 10 kg so for knowing the our compressor our pump is working effectively then we require one pressure gauge for checking its pressure is as per its design so this is the main importance of the pressure measurement and uh, when if you don't have this uh, pressure measuring device uh, for this tank then if inside the vessel if the pressure will um, increase beyond its limit of this uh, vessel walls then the fluid can also come out of this vessel and also the wall of this vessel can be damaged because the pressure if inside the vessel will build up then it will not be good for any industry so that's why the pressure measurement is very important now the second part which is also very important type of the pressure so generally when we talk about three types of pressure absolute pressure gauge pressure and vacuum pressure and one we can say if there are two pressure then p1 and p2 then the differential pressure is also type of the pressure when we compare two pressure then it is differential pressure so in a simple way when we have a reference when we have a reference is vacuum then it is called absolute pressure when we have a reference of atmospheric pressure then it is called grease pressure and when we have a reference vacuum then vacuum pressure and when we compare two pressure p1 minus p2 then it is called differential pressure so in simply graphical form when we draw a diagram 
ओके दिस इज द जीरो और वी कैन से एप्सलूट वैक्यूम ये दिस इज द वैक्यूम प्रेशर एंड आउट ऑफ द वैक्यूम प्रेशर सम लाइन इज ड्रॉन विच इज एटमोस्पेरिक प्रेशर एंड वेन यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम वैक्यूम टू एटमोस्पेरिक प्रेशर दिस इज कॉल्ड एटमोस्पेरिक प्रेशर ओके बट वेन यू आर गोइंग फ्रॉम एटमोस्पेरिक प्रेशर टू सम पॉइंट ए दिस इज द गेज प्रेशर बट वेन यू आर टेकिंग रेफरेंस एप्सलूट प्रेशर एंड यू आर गोइंग टिल ए और सम अदर पॉइंट देन इट इज कॉल्ड एप्सलूट प्रेशर सो दिस इज द सिंपल डेफिनेशन सो वी कैन ऑल्सो डेवलप अ फॉर्मूला पी एप्सलूट प्रेशर इज कल टू पी गेज प्लस पी ए टी एम सो दिस फॉर्मूला इज वेरी यूजफुल वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग फॉर एनी न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम इन इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन और इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग देन दिस फॉर्मूला विल वर्क फॉर यू सो यू कैन सिंपली डिफाइन द एप्सलूट प्रेशर इज इक्वल टू गेज प्रेशर प्लस एटमोस प्रेशर सो दिस इज द टोटल वैक्यूम प्रेशर वेन वी आर गोइंग Uh, up from this vacuum pressure then it is called the atmospheric pressure and when you are going from atmospheric pressure to some point a then it is called gauge gauge pressure and when you are uh, taking reference as a vacuum pressure and if you are going above this vacuum pressure then it is called the absolute pressure and absolute pressure is summation of the gauge pressure and atmospheric pressure so this is the definition of the type of the pressures now the third uh, question is asked in any interview or technician interview questions which is unit of pressure measurement and conversion this is also very important when you are working any oil and gas sector then the unit conversion also you should know because sometime you require some other unit uh, showing on display and sometime you require some other uh, unit of uh, pressure measurement so simply what are the units we can write here one is psi other one is kg and bar and atmospheric and mms to o okay and tor okay and pascal and newton per meter square so we have seen the newton per meter square and pascal is the same and uh, some uh, we have to develop a one a unit conversion formula for all the unit conversion so simply the first uh, formula v1 at atmosphere pressure is equal to 14.7 psi okay and this is equal to 76 mm hg and this is equal to 760 tor and this is equal to 101.325 kilo pascal so this is the one formula which you can write on your in your not notebook and simply learn all the conversion terms now uh, another is uh, when when we talk about one var is equal to 10 to the power 5 pascal this is also very important another uh, formula is one var is equal to also 14.5 psi and there is one one kg is equal to 14.2 psi this is also simply and one kg generally 98 kilo pascal so these are the some a unit of pressure measurement which generally ask in any interview so you can note down all the unit conversion in your notebook now next point types of pressure sensor so first uh, generally when you are talking about the pressure gauges first is borden tube type of pressure sensor generally used and most of the time it is used one borden is like this way the pressure is applied through one point and when this is connected through gauge and some arrangement which will um actually have some displacement so whenever the pressure is applied from one point then this uh, another end which is fixed end which will have some displacement and the displacement will uh, 
have some arrangement that will deflect and the pressure gauge can be uh, read out what is the pressure of that line or of that uh, discharge of the pump the first second one is the some diaphragms diaphragm type okay so simply if uh, you can say this is the diaphragm whenever the pressure is applied from one point that the diaphragm deflection will takes place and the deflection uh, is attached some um, arrangement and then where we can uh, simply check what is the pressure of that pipe or that uh, pump discharge line some values are also used for measuring the pressures so uh, values are also used so the arrangement of the values like in this way okay like in this way and uh, some so whenever your pressure is applied from one point then it will deflect and it will it can be direct read out from other side so these are generally ask uh, generally types of the pressure sensor are used in any uh, pressure measurement uh, um, uh, instrumentations now the next point signal flow loop of pressure transmitter this is the last question and it is very important because when you are going from field to plc then how uh, sensor uh, send the data from field to plc so simply when you have a one transmitter okay this is your pt plus minus plus minus two wire are connected and the two wire first go to jv where some tv arrangement is given and other uh, this is the single pair line cable single pair cable is used to transmit this signal to the jv and then some uh, some because jv is a part of this uh, control loop where uh, 5 to 15 or 20 instruments are connected 6 to 12 we can say connected then one multi-core this is the multi-core multi-core means it may have six core six pair it may have 12 pair this go to marshalling panel marshalling panel where some tv arrangement is there and then it goes to if some barrier are also uh, used if some hazardous area is present in your oil and gas sector then here some barrier are also used safety barrier safety barrier are also used or some other um, now this is your plc io card so io card where two wire or one wire is connected and then your io card is communicated through your controller if some and your io card connect to through controller so how the pt is transferring from field to the controller data and your program is written your controller where this ai signal can be used for interlock or some other purpose so this is our uh, pressure related measurement video we have covered a uh, many a uh, very important question which are generally asked in any technician instrumentation questions or any interviews so please like comment and subscribe if you are new on our youtube channel tomorrow also we will talk about some other questions which are generally asked in any interview so stay with us thank you very much for watching this video till the end